Welcome to Wreck at Home. Hi friends, my name is Miss Liz. Thanks for joining me for art today. Well, it's October and finally autumn. So we're gonna be working on a pumpkin project today. It is also National Hispanic Heritage Month. So our project is gonna be paper molas. So what are molas? Well, they're made by people in Panama. They're traditionally wall coverings, decorations for clothes and fabric. Basically, there's several layers of brightly colored fabric sewn together with details cut into them. The molas we're gonna be making today are gonna be made out of brightly colored paper. So let's check out our supplies and get started. First, we're gonna need four pieces of construction paper. Since we're gonna work on pumpkins, I'm gonna use some fall colors. Then we're gonna need a pair of scissors. We'll also need a glue stick and a pencil to draw out our design. Now let's listen to the expectations. Remember to try your best. There's no perfect in art. Be safe. Be safe with all the supplies you use. And be kind. Be sure to thank anyone who helps you today. Great. Let's get started. Grab your pencil and your first piece of construction paper. You're going to use your pencil to sketch out a pumpkin shape. Don't worry. It doesn't have to be perfect. However you like your pumpkin to look will work perfectly. I promise. Now you're gonna grab your scissors and cut out your pumpkin. Now that your pumpkin is cut out, grab your glue stick, flip over your pumpkin, and put glue all over the back of the pumpkin. You wanna make sure it's covered so that when you glue your pumpkin down, it sticks really, really well. Now you're gonna grab your second piece of construction paper and take your pumpkin and glue it down. Make sure you press all the edges just to make sure it's stuck really well. Now we're gonna take our pencil and draw a slight outline or halo around the pumpkin. It only needs to be like half an inch or so. You just wanna be able to see the orange pumpkin and then like a brown outline. Next, you're gonna grab your scissors and cut out around the pencil line. Perfect. Now you have an orange pumpkin with a brown outline. Now you're gonna take your glue stick again and put glue all over the back of the brown pumpkin. Great. Now grab your next piece of construction paper and glue your pumpkin on. You're gonna make sure to press down all edges again, and you might wanna make sure your pumpkin is on one side of the paper so that you have plenty of scraps left on the other side. Perfect, now you're gonna take your pencil and repeat the process of drawing a outline or a halo around the pumpkin shape. Great, now grab your scissors and cut out around the halo. All right, can you guess the next step? We're gonna flip our paper over and apply glue all over the back again. All right, grab our last sheet of construction paper. This time, instead of putting the pumpkin to one side, you're gonna put them right in the middle. So stick them down and use your hand to push down all the edges to make sure he's glued on nice and tight. All right, now the next step is to add some decorations. So you wanna start from the edge of the paper and work in and use your pencil to draw different shapes and patterns. Perfect. Now grab your scissors and cut those out. Flip your paper over and add glue to the back side of your paper mola. 
Now use a scrap piece of paper and place it where you just made the cutout. Use your fingers and push down the paper and repeat the process in all the areas where you did cutouts. Great, now we're gonna set our paper aside and take some of our scraps. Use our scissors to cut out different shapes and designs that we're gonna glue to the front of our mola. Check out the brown highlights I added to my pumpkin. What did you do to yours? Thank you for joining us today. I hope you had fun and we'll see you next week at Wreck at Home.